Welcome back to Inlethan Park, quite a few, and we are on to Clattering Path. We're getting towards the top of the hill now. I almost said mountain, it's not really a mountain. Uh, Minchmore is the top. We've got Clattering Path here, followed by the Minchmore climb, and then we're at the top. And then it's hopefully mostly downhill to get back to the end. Uh, unfortunately, this is kind of dark, so I apologize for video quality in here. Uh, it is also kind of creepy. I don't mind saying. Uh, <laughs> I watch too many films and this is freaking me the hell out. Thank you movies. Thank you Hollywood. <sighs> so, as we were talking about on the previous video, uh, Lead Mine Climb, YouTube likes, favourites, subscribes, stuff like that. They're the best way to help support video makers on YouTube. On to a more personal note, we're aiming at doing our Kickstarter soon. Uh, I've actually started working on it now. Uh, and the first thing to do is actually get some, some rewards up together. Uh, I've been looking at some stuff, and I originally had some ideas for quite a lot of rewards. I think I might have talked about them on the video for ooh, Redemption at Glentress. I think it was I talked about them. I might have, I might not have. I know I did talk about it at Redemption, but I don't know if it's the current online version or the earlier version that I did where I failed completely at it. So we'll find out at some point. But the original plan was to do a wide, way, wide, wide range, turn into Jonathan Ross, a wide range of supporter gifts for people donating to Trail Dog. It's not really a good thing because a lot of it was tacky. Uh, <clears throat> so, we'll. We, I keep speaking in the third person as if there's more than one of us doing Trail Dog. Technically, there's Martin who lives in kind of mid Wales, Fishguard, but uh, unfortunately, because it's a distance thing and I have all the equipment, it's actually me doing it. All of it. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> I, I, I did this, I do these. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I looked back at things. There were things like stickers for the lower ranks. I think it meant thanks, stickers, extra stickers. So it was like an idea to do four different packs of stickers or something with different designs. Uh, <coughs> for the lower tiered donors going up to things like badges and key rings and <sighs> all the way up to t-shirts uh, hoodies and uh, and the top one we were looking at was uh, holiday which is retarded uh, got sort of ideas in that direction uh, one of the other ones we were going to use was a subscription to the website as it stands, there's no subscribers thing for that. It would be nice to get a regular income, but we don't have the uh, the power to do that kind of thing. And also Kickstarter has a thing about lifetime membership type stuff. So, we're scrapping that, I'm scrapping that idea for now. Uh, I might revisit the sticker idea, because everyone likes stickers. At the very least, it'd be uh, something along the lines of car sticker for Windows, uh, static cling kind of thing. Ones that you can use more than once anyway. Uh, <coughs> t-shirts I definitely want to do, because I'd quite like to be riding in trail dog t-shirts. And uh, clothing is a thing I'd like to look into in the future of trail dog uh, for an eventual shop, but for the time being. It's not a thing I can carry on with. So the idea is to do a specific design for donors. So the only time people will be able to get that design will be during the Kickstarter. Same with hoodies. I want to keep that hoodie idea on the go because again, everyone loves hoodies. Especially the nice zip up ones. Uh, again, I'd like one myself. so. 
I'm using it as a kind of, if it's something I'd wear or use, then it's probably an idea. Two seconds. Onwards. Uh, so yeah, if it's a thing that I wear, use, or whatever, then it's going into the Kickstarter because <laughs> uh, there's a chance that other people might be interested in that kind of thing. Uh, one thing I do like the idea of, though, which might stay in, is sponsor day uh, or sponsor days. Uh, because at some point we're going to be f I'm going to be filming all over the country uh, so chances are if you've got local legitimate trails near you at some point I'll be filming there uh, if I've got the funding that is so the idea is uh, if we get together people who've donated towards Trail Dog uh, have mass rides that might not sound like a Thing worth donating for but I was considering something along the lines of well uh, free barbecue now that's worth donating for so everyone likes sausages <laughs> oh my god I'm dripping sweat now uh, so yeah proper ride finished off with food cold salad type buffet thing I think that's an idea uh, get people into trail dog and give something back it doesn't feel quite right and that's the important thing is giving back because in the end without people behind us without people watching uh, without people using our site and my site and the videos and stuff then I'm just a person talking to myself around forests and as much as that seems like a great idea I'd rather it was worth something and not money wise money wise would be nice but uh, uh, actually doing it for people to use so it's a useful resource is the key is the prime goal and even if it makes no money just having it as a resource for people to use is something that's good. So things like a donor barbecue ride thing is a way of giving back and hopefully getting people into it. Well, that's an idea. It's an idea I like anyway. Uh, other people liking it, <laughs> negotiable, but hmm, we'll see. Uh, as long as we don't food poison everyone, that's fine. But. I work fast food, so I should be capable of not killing people. Uh, then again, my idea of good customer service is uh, I might not be smiling, but they don't have knives in them, so they're getting good service. The only good customer is a dead one. And so on. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Kickstarter will be going up hopefully soon. Uh, the main thing I want to do though is actually get examples. I want to use the little bit of money I have left and uh, get an example t-shirt, example hoodie printed up for people to see. Because what's the point in saying this is what it looked like if you got no example? On the plus side, whew, I see daylight up there. Oh, excuse me. 
on the plus side, uh, the sample stuff that I will get made up beforehand will be low quality uh, because I, I'd want to get the final product properly screen printed or in the case of stuff that doesn't like screen printing then embroidered but uh, <coughs> the companies I've found so far that I want to use have minimum orders for screen printing and they have fairly high setup costs because the problem with screen printing is before you can actually print them you've got to create the screens uh, and once you've done that the screen, I don't know how they work it uh, it could mean that the screen's useless for them from now on so they've got to store it in case the person wants to use it again or uh, they reclaim it straight away but there's still always a setup charge for screen printing and embroidery actually because they have to program it into their machines uh, so uh, to begin with it would most likely be well the samples would most likely be just uh, direct to garment printing which isn't bad but it's not the quality I'd like because nothing annoys me more than printed clothing which fades and falls apart uh, so anything that people get from Trail Dog I'd quite like to be at least a decent quality and I don't believe I can get that from direct to garment so screen print is the way forward uh, better finish, better quality, etc, etc. But it's at a price range where it'll only be viable with mass orders, which is where the Kickstarter comes in. Uh, it's easier to make a single one direct to garment for me, and as uh, examples, <coughs> but the final ones that would go out given a successful Kickstarter would be the high quality screen printed ones, the nice type. So that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to work more on the barbecue group ride thing. So I've done uh, mass rides before and they're always fairly good fun, good bit of banter. And uh, yeah, people actually enjoying themselves, making fun of each other, being crap at riding and stuff like that. It's a good laugh. And it's a, it's a community thing, isn't it? And that's what we want. We want what I want. What the site needs is to integrate into the community or even build its own around it. <coughs> so there you go. Them's the plans for the Kickstarter. And this will all be down in the details of the Kickstarter itself, but there's other things to consider, like uh, well, where would the money be going? And that's actually quite an easy one to answer, really. Uh, into Trail Dog. <sighs> Too blunt. Uh, I've worked out three phases. The f each one's progressively more expensive. Uh, three phases for now, with a possible fourth. I'm honestly not expecting to reach the fourth phase on Kickstarter, it's unlikely. Uh, but the first one, the, uh, the, the, the less ex least expensive one, I think comes in at about 12k. 12,000 pounds, and that is, I'm just trying to remember, it's trails in south of Scotland, central belt, uh, north of England, and M6 corridor, I think goes down as far as Canuck Chase. Uh, the idea is it's ones that are easy to get to, cheap to get to. Uh, I think some in North Wales as well. And the idea is we've kind of balanced popularity of the sites, of the trails, uh, to encourage more people to use our site. I'll just keep going with our, it's easier than my. My sounds so possessive. It is really, but uh, yeah. Uh, keep, uh, yeah, keep the more popular trails easy to get to, to keep the costs down. The majority of them are one shots, go down, overnight, ride, come back, easy enough. Uh, <clears throat> the second phase, 
further up North Scotland, uh, the majority of the Northern England ones, and heading a bit further south, and most of Wales, I think. That is the Minchmore shortcut if you go across there. Just kind of interrupt what I'm saying. Go up there, that'll take you, it's, a, it's up for the first bit, but I believe it goes down fairly quickly, and that cuts into the top of the Southern Upland Way section. Uh, which I showed the start of at the beginning of the lead mine climb. No, I didn't actually show it at the beginning of lead mine climb. It was at the end of Taniel Fire Road. But it's Taniel Fire Road end slash beginning of lead mine climb. Cuts on up and way. It cuts in about two thirds of the way along this. Uh, this avoids the Minchmore climb. Unfortunately, it also misses the Minchmore descent.